promised that girl right here that this speech would do three things. It would make her laugh, make her cry, and I would get her to sing something. Now, if you guys have never done this, this is the greatest game in the world. Let me explain. If you randomly work song lyrics into everyday conversation, Kate will stop what she's doing and start singing along. If it doesn't work the first time, don't stop believing. I promise you, it will work the second time. It's my head. Yeah. Sometimes she doesn't do it out loud for the purpose of the speech. But thanks for that. For those of you I haven't met, I'm Michelle. And I've known Kate since junior high. But we didn't become the friends we are today until high school. We refer to each other as BMFs, or best movie friends. The summer before senior year of high school, we decided the best idea in the world would be to see a new release no matter what came out every Friday. In theory, it was fantastic. In practice, we got such hits as Too Fast, Too Furious, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde, and our personal favorite, Hollywood Homicide. <laughs> Flash forward to the summer after we graduated ASU. I will have to take full responsibility for this one, but we got a little bit into the Twilight craze. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, it is vampires. Human girl. Perfect vampire. Okay, we were very, very excited for this first installment to come out. But let's just say, if I had vampire fever, Caitlin had the plague. <laughs> it's really good books. It was. Every other day she was sending me an email or posting on my Facebook something new of, uh, hey, have you seen this movie? Have you seen a new still? Have you seen this? We were counting down. So much so, we added it to our calendars. We couldn't decide if we wanted to see the midnight showing, but we decided we were adults, we had jobs, we would go after work, see it once, twice, three times a lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. Once. All right. So yes, we had this down. November 21st, 2008, we were going to go see Twilight. You see where the story's going? I do. Okay. So, it's the week of, and Kate comes up to me and goes, hey, guess what? Leon finally asked me out. <laughs> we're going out on Friday. Ah, uh, Friday. So I don't know about the rest of you, but that's when I knew. Kate was willing to give up her perfect vampire boyfriend <laughs> for someone far better. <laughs> Kate, you are my best friend. My sister from another mister. I promise never to say that one again. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely deserve. You are a trooper. Oh my goodness. Anyone who's ever spent any time with the two of us deserves a medal and knows we are a little difficult to deal with. Well, the first time Leon hung out with this, we had just bought this thousand piece puzzle of the Beatles' White Album. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is white, and it says, The Beatles, at the bottom. <laughs> well, Kate and I think we are amazing puzzlers, and that we are going to rock this. We get a little insane when we go puzzling. That's what we call it, puzzling. Well, Leon comes over. Any other guy would go running for the door. Any other guy. But not Leon. Leon kept coming back, and back, and back again. And I'm very thankful to say, we have formed our own friendship outside of Kate, which is pretty all right. But that promise we made the night you proposed, still very much so in effect. You hurt her. I bashed your head with a shovel. <laughs> a big threat is nobody's threat. Now, will you join me in congratulating Leon and Caitlin when they continue to find their happily ever after? <laughs> 